Good morning, friends from Malta. I am super congested this morning, hence the puffiness in my eyes. I am on our Airbnb's rooftop terrace, enjoying a cup of coffee. It's technically three in one coffee my sister brought from Croatia. It'll do the trick this morning to open these eyes. We have this beautiful little terrace. And we're only here for not even 12 hours, so I knew I needed to take advantage of this. Today we're traveling from the main island to Gozo, the smaller island. And then we're also switching Airbnbs, so basically another travel day. But before we get the day started, please subscribe, like this video, Buy me a coffee, because I could use a real one. The link is in the description below. Let's get this party started. Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own. I have this camera and you watching. So grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. We're flying from Nice to Sardinia, Sardinia to Naples, Naples to Malta. Three flights in one day. We made it to the Napoli airport and look who I found. I have arrived in Malta at our Airbnb. It is 7.20 a.m. and <laughs> that guy just came with his truck and blared his horn which thank god we're awake already and we decided to run down because he literally has a truck full of bread. We just bought mystery one. I randomly brought a loaf. I guess I'm thinking I'm making a sandwich later. He said this one was sweet and this will be my breakfast with almonds inside all for 240 euro. A little 10 cent tip out of his truck. So now we have breakfast. What does it taste like? I don't know. Is it good? I don't know. <laughs> Is it raisin pasty? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> this one is very sweet. It's basically like marzipan inside, which is like an almond filling. It's gonna be a lot of sugar for breakfast, but it'll work. Yeah, she's so tan. What the heck? Oh, not from England. <laughs> How much was the conversion? So there's three of us now. We are on the X1 bus that takes you from the airport in Gudja, Gudja, to Cirkiwa. Cirkiwa that takes you from the ferry across to the Gozo Island, which is our next stop. It was 150 euro. Whoa. 150 euro for the bus and you can pay cash or card on the bus with the driver. We just had to wait, it was about 20 minutes late. Okay. On route we go and it's starting to rain, so it's a good time.
When you're away, nights are sleepless. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe you're brave. Boy, you're my weakness. Give and we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been <laughs> After about an hour long bus ride, we're on the ferry now that's leaving at 1.30 p.m. You don't buy a ticket on to get on the ferry. You only take a... How do you get a... Where, where do you buy the tickets? <laughs> on, on the way back. How much are they? $4.50 euros. euros. <laughs> <laughs> you only buy a return ticket. So you don't have to buy a ticket to get on the ferry, but it's 4 euros and 65 cents to return. And it's about a 25 minute voyage so across. So we swim. Across. And the cheapest back. way is to swim, actually. Anyway, For we need to also introduce you to yeah. one more companion on our trip. Companion. Who are you? My name is Kat. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sober I'm, for 10 years. I'm the fourth Duke child. <laughs> True. The, She's the, the honorary favorite Duke because favorite. she can speak German and we can't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is Katie's friend, Kat, not to get confusing. She's joined us after some travels in England and Germany at the end of her travels. And she's the one who chose Malta and we're just taking along. So. Fresh <laughs> trip, but I like it. That's okay. <laughs> Off on the ferry we go. It is mighty windy, but the water is so blue here. Whoa. Justice, but this water is blue and crystal. Some random person crabs in there. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our friends. <laughs> welcome to our Malta Airbnb. Let me let you in. We are spoiled by this huge apartment in Malta with this grand entryway. It has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, three toilets, so we each get a toilet. An amazing view. Let me take you on the tour. Welcome to our kitchen. We have tea and coffee left by our host and biscuits and even the stove to use. We also have a fridge in the corner and an awesome big table that we can welcome friends with because we've got five extra seats. But I'm gonna take you to the bedroom that I'm staying in. This is one of three bedrooms. All of them have a queen size bed, which we're super spoiled with. Beautiful fresh air flowing through right into the kitchen. The breeze is mixing in. But well, let me show you the view. Welcome to Gozo Malta. The cool thing about this Airbnb is the terrace wraps all the way around the apartment. So instead of you taking you through the inside, let's go through the outside. Come on. Make a quick pit stop back into where the kitchen area is. This is also the living room. We've got a couch, an awesome big TV, and Wi-Fi, which is super important. Also has additional nomad traveling and updating our families where we are. I 
think there's about 10 screen doors here that we can open and close, let that breeze flow through into the kitchen with their high ceilings. It is feeling like such an open and airy space. Finally come into some sunlight, which feels so refreshing. And we keep going around the corner. We have another porch door or screen door for the kitchen space. And down below, we're trying to make friends with the neighbors because they have a pool. Let's keep going. As we turn the corner, we can see one bathroom here that has just a toilet in it. But a sunlight. The next stop on our terrace tour is bedroom number two. This time we're gonna go inside. This is Katie's room, which again includes a queen size bed. Multiple windows, tons of fresh air is flowing through. She's got her own bathroom. We have lots of storage space and it just feels so nice to have our own space in this very open, airy apartment. We're gonna cross through, not stuff over the baggage, into Kat's room. This is the third bedroom in this three bedroom apartment here in Gozo Malta. I think it might be the biggest of the room. It even includes a crib. Again, tons of storage with the cupboards. We've got an awesome queen size bed. Own view, view of the molen or windmill. And then the last bit is the bathroom. This is bathroom number one where we have a toilet. It's a little snug, but that's okay. You don't really need much room. We've got a toilet, shower, and a sink. It's enough for three girls to get ready. And the last bathroom. This one's even bigger with its own shower, its own sink, its own toilet. And the last thing is we've got its own bathtub. So if you're someone who wants to soak in the tub, you totally can. It doesn't have quite as nice of a view, but it's still luxurious. Quick thing about Malta though, is to actually use hot water. We have to turn on the hot water heater here. It seems like electricity is very expensive. So everything has its own switch. Every outlet has a switch. Every light has a switch. So you can turn it off and can serve as much as you want. The last thing I'll show you, if we want to have any heat or an air conditioning, we actually have to pay for it. So we have to insert a euro, loony or toony in Canada, we call it a $1 or $2 coin, but the breeze is enough, the temperature is perfect, that will save a few dollars. Thanks for joining our tour. One feature we forgot to talk about is the ceiling here. I'm pretty sure it's just their stucco, but to us, it looks a little bit like art deco. I about this in my other video, but something you should know about Malta is they don't have European plugs. Although they are part of the European Union and they have euros as their currency, their plugs are actually the English plug. We're gonna head down Hill Street is the actual name of the street because it's a giant hill to go find some water since we are advised not to drink the water and also just a few groceries since there's three of us and we have about five days here to eat it all. It's just so quiet and like empty. Oh, I love it. Baby ones. We have a selection of vino. All right, we picked up some sandwich things, some Fanta, some wine, a pony or I guess it's a pony of gin, almost Mickey of gin, some lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes, a huge thing of water that Katie is carrying. I've got a big bag. We even got mayo, mustard, hummus, cheese, a lot of stuff. And it was 41 euros. And the plan is that this is gonna last us for about the next five days. So pretty good prices for being a small island. No tofu, but we did find hummus. No tempeh, which is okay. We're not expecting to find it, but they did have soy and almond and coconut milk. And <laughs> got the kids behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Love of my life. Today we're 
ending the day, I'm actually staying home because I'm on a call right now learning a little bit more about digital marketing. So I'm expanding my skills. The gals went into Victoria, which is a nearby town here on the Gozo Island, but I thought I'd show you the evening. Quite magical to be a digital nomad and looking out my balcony to this view. I feel super spoiled to be ending my evening like this. We're gonna end the vlog here today. Make sure you subscribe because we got more coming for you and you don't want to miss out. Thanks so much for joining. We'll see you soon. Wait, do that again because you